Hello everybody. Hi. My name is Darren. And I'm Graham. And I have seen a documentary that you've probably never even heard of. Probably. It's called The Armstrong Lie. The Armstrong Lie. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I assume this, this is either about Lance Armstrong and his drugs or about Neil Armstrong and his moonwalk. Which do you think it is? It not take too long to think. Because people think, if, people, if you say Armstrong, people are going to think of Neil Armstrong. So I reckon it's that. So what do you think the lie Because they went for the old... The lie is that it's actually about Lance Armstrong. So the cover... Yeah. ...says the Armstrong lie. <laughs> yeah, and it's a picture, picture of Neil Armstrong. And, doing the moonwalk. and you watch it and it's about Lance Armstrong. Half right. Very meta, very meta. Uh, it is about uh, Lance Armstrong. Oh, it's about Lance Armstrong? Yeah. Really? I yeah. totally, actually, genuinely super thought it was about Neil Armstrong. Anyway, you were wrong. Because that whole thing was a lie anyway. It was the, the moon landings. Yeah, well, yeah. you don't believe that though, do you? Do you? Well, I've seen room 256 or whatever it's called. 237. Yeah. Mm. Was it that one? Anyway, what's yeah, this about? Lance Armstrong. About his lies. About his lies. All his lies. Yeah. His licicle races. His licicle race, yes. Yeah. Uh, more, yeah. Yes. So, do you know, what do you know about Lance Armstrong? Well, go on. him and Hitler. Two peas in a pod. Oh my God, or not. <laughs> Only two peas in a pod. I would, have said, I would have said that he had cancer. I would have gone straight for the fact he's got no balls. No, but that's... I mean, that's going to have helped with racing, so you can say about the, <laughs> the trunks, yeah, yeah, yeah. but not crushing your knack is going to help. <laughs> um, yeah, so he's a cyclist, did a lot of work for um, charity, I think. Well, yeah, but I mean, if you watch the documentary, it does seem to be mostly to paint his image as a good person. I'm not a drug cheat. Look but, at all the little cancer kids I've helped. Well, I yeah, I well yeah. It's two sides of the same coin, though, isn't it, Darren? Don't you think, though? Go on. Well, on the one hand, he is still doing those things. He is still helping those don't kids get me and wrong. stuff. But yeah, on the but other it's side, it's gains. almost it's a it's a safety net, isn't it? It's like oh, well, he doesn't this, use it. If those all go, if this all goes to yeah. the top, then I at least have got the. He does throw the I'm cancer defence out there all the time. Fear of a child watching this documentary. Mm. So what is so? But does that sounds like the uh, the documentary is has its own agenda it does in a way yeah yeah uh because basically lance armstrong apparently made a comeback in 2009 after having retired yeah and uh the director alex gibney made a documentary about it and uh halfway through that movie that's when the drugs thing came out he was... kind of ruined his documentary well, a bit yeah, do, so then this documentary is about him going back and it's ho- like edited so it's half the footage of the original documentary with this new documentary about oh so you are a fucking liar wow Right. That sounds interesting. It was very good, yeah. Yeah. I picked it up for a quid in a shop. All oh, right, fair but enough. I, I very much enjoyed it a lot. And I say that as somebody who has no interest in cycling. I mean, it's just fucking pedaling, in it? You know, and all this effort they do, you know, like... Scenery. Oh, gonna, yeah. You've got to bend your body in certain ways and, you know, it takes strenuous effort and, you know, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I'm but sure it's just, it just pedaling. Yeah. Now, there's a lot... I'm, I'm not saying it's not hard. I'm just saying if you're going to put a lot of energy into something... Make it something more important than pedaling. Or something cooler, at least. Yeah. It's just pedaling. Than t- wearing tight lycra right, and sweating up a French mountain. Yeah, I know, yeah. 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 Get you could have achieved a lot more back. if you yeah. just put that effort into something else. Yeah, what is that? Mm, well, you know. But they say that about Arnie, don't they? You know, it's just picking up and putting well, down the heavy things. thing, isn't it? Yeah, it's Dylan Moran. <laughs> I just I recognised yeah. your comedy routine. Yeah. You were stealing <laughs> <laughs> um, Yeah. Oh, well. There goes that one. Uh, that's going to be five minutes of this video, but you ruined it. That's then. fine. I don't want to infringe any copyrights. No. Well, I guess um, not. So, yeah. So, it was a very good documentary. Do you like Lance Armstrong at the end of the story? Oh, well, that's the thing, is that he's basically the devil, I think. Oh. <laughs> oh, dear. And that he's quite... So, you didn't answer my question. <laughs> well, about, he's quite clearly a bad person. Like, okay. you know, he lied and he cheated. Well, yeah. And he was pretty much the ringleader of it all by the sounds of it. And by all accounts, he was a horrible person. Uh, yeah, I was going to say, he like, bullied person. everybody into yeah, being yeah, quiet, exactly. didn't he? Like, but when, you, when he's talking in, in the documentary and in the interviews the documentary shows, you know, like with Oprah and stuff like previous mm. footage, he seems like a nice guy. So I did like him because that's how right. he comes across. But clearly that's not real. Yes, his he's, prescribed public image was... Uh, yeah. Satiable. Yeah, so I, so yeah, he seemed likable enough, but clearly he's horrible. Yes. Yeah. Um, Interesting. Yeah. Interesting. Harvey I mean, Two Face in it, you know what I mean? Harvey Two Face. Just a man with two faces. Yeah. Two faces of March. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you February. could have said Two Faced. Two Faced. That would have been better than me trying to work out how he's like the Scar District Attorney Harvey Dent. <laughs> Scar <laughs> District Attorney. <laughs> yeah, um, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> the documentary, I'm sure, if you know about Lance Armstrong, I can't say if it's any good. Because it might be just right. stuff you all know. 
Like I saw Hunter Thompson. Like the guy That's that did really this, mean. Alex Gibney, did another documentary about Hunter Thompson, mm. which I thought I had, but it turned out I didn't. Okay. The one I had was called Take the Ticket. Buy the ticket, take a ride, take the ride. Yeah. Which I watched and didn't think was very good because I kind of knew because ev- I am quite interested in Hunter Thompson. Sure. So I quite I kind of knew everything that I had to say. But I thought if I didn't know anything about Thompson, I'm sure this would have been a good documentary. Right. I don't know if that's true. This with the Lance Armstrong one. I don't know anything about Lance Armstrong. Maybe if you did, you wouldn't like this as much. However. Right. Is it a good documentary? Yes. So so so, does it do what a good documentary should do? It kind of gives you the background information. Mm-hmm. And then kind of presents him, and then gives it like an analysis. It's kind of like we were talking the other day about the Wolf Pack, where I said it mm. wasn't a very good documentary. It was a good film, and I enjoyed the story, but as a documentary, it was a bit boring because it didn't do anything interesting. The Wolf Pack, if you don't remember or haven't seen it or whatever, um, it's about some kids. three kids. No, it's like ten of them. Ten of them, ten yeah. kids. Uh, well, they're locked in the house, that. aren't they? What else are they going to do but breed? <laughs> yeah. So yeah, they're locked in the house by the parents or dad the, mostly. The dad mostly. The mum is a bit yeah. Um, and basically, there was a documentary about what they got up to in the film that they kind of recreated as a form of yeah, uh, they escapism of films. Um, and you were saying that that was a, it was an okay it was fun to watch as a documentary it was a good story but as a documentary it wasn't very it imaginative it didn't explore the people in it and what they were getting no, the this, one did. And stuff, but this one did you know it like it was edited very well it was cinematic yeah. you know and, and it had the director's opinion his agenda which was to get to the because this guy had seduced him you know he'd mm. believed all the lies originally in the original documentary of making so it's getting to the bottom of like oh, what kind man. of a person are you because so do you think maybe the, 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 the kind of like the second half of the film if you like it's not it's not first half second so it's all intercut kind of yeah thing. yeah it's, it's non-linear I guess that's just that's, just, that's interesting yeah yeah. Do you, think, do you feel like those were kind of like a bit more bitter a bit more angry kind of thing like no, some sort of resentment towards him because obviously no, no, no. if you're going to make a documentary about somebody you've got to have still, he still seems impartial the documentary guy really? like he's not like fuck you why did you say <laughs> yeah. because at the end of the day he's got an interesting subject like why did you say that he does and that's the way you'd see it but anybody else who would just think like but he's, I want to make a documentary about him yeah, he's a, do you know what I mean like no 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 but no, like he's quite somebody, a, for somebody to take on that project they've got to have this kind of their sight set on him for a reason like they admire him They no they, that's not true you could have an impartial view. I agree but for somebody like Lance Armstrong who before all the he's exposure just a I, I know I know he's quite a, literally yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that should be the name of his autobiography <laughs> the peddler <laughs> I peddled for a living <laughs> oh my god um um yeah okay so alright no I think you can see that question, but, you okay. can see that somebody is an iconic figure and making him and think I don't care about them so I'll make a documentary that it looks at that as do you get what think, I'm saying though you, he looked like a saint before did, no he didn't because they'd always accused him of the drugs thing yeah. he'd always been lying and getting away with it you've watched the documentary I haven't seen it so it's, and it seems that. that everyone and, and so that's the other thing is you kind of feel sorry for him because everyone's cheating so if he didn't cheat he wouldn't win so it's kind of like a catch-22, but at the end of the day, he was the one. It's like being in a pub quiz and everyone's on their phone and you're just like, well, well, yeah, I the example they, to, but... they, they gave. And this is the other thing is the documentary wants to know is why did it come back? Because he'd gotten away with it. Like you just set yourself uh, up for a fall. Good point. I never considered that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So he'd, he'd gotten away. And he said when they got away, when the, the last one he did, after he retired, everyone got done. And the documentary says it's kind of like a basketball thing. Where ev- both everyone on both teams gets done for drugs cheating, except the guy who's just retired. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So it's kind of strange that he comes back. So why is he doing wow, that? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's why. Uh, so, so that's interesting. So, uh, what was the cause of his um, being exposed, and why did he come back? Well, he was just exposed because, because brought... they were just coming after him for so. You know, it was oh, him they want. They like specifically were yeah, going yeah. after him. Yeah, yeah. Wow. They're gonna get you eventually, especially if you are guilty, and especially if you know you you know you are bullying a lot of people into yeah, doing yeah. it and stuff like that. Someone's gonna yap. So well, they, that's talk. how he got caught as yeah. well, because uh, he started like, because he was one of those "it's my way or the highway" type thing, yeah, and after yeah, like a long that. career, there's quite a lot of embittered people yeah. who just start blabbing. Wow, wow, oh Dra- my god, drama, dramatic. Yeah, I'm not making you laugh, but I seem to be intriguing you. Yeah, yeah, I'd like to see this one now. Yeah, it's in Panama for a quid. I can literally buy it here tomorrow. <laughs> I don't even have to lend it to you. I'll okay. buy you. Wow, okay, do that. Okay, um, you will never watch it. I won't buy it for you. I will never watch <laughs> this. I will never watch this. Uh, okay, all right then. Well, uh, uh, how many stars? Four. Out of five. Four and a half? No. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> All right then. Hmm. You're missing one. Yes, I'm aware. That's why I said four out of five. Just like he was. It was a joke. Anyway. Is he missing one ball? I think so. Oh, I assumed it was both. No, I think he's. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. I don't know. I didn't check. Yes, okay. Shook his hand, not his ball sack. You've met him? Yes. <laughs> ah, that was just a lie then. For the purpose of the joke, yeah. The Robert Sly. That's mm. his name. Mm-hmm. 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 Bye, everyone. <laughs> Uh, bye.